Here we are in section 3.1, numbers 1 through 6. Three types of bears are in a national park. The number of grizzly bears is four more than twice the number of black bears. Hmm. And the number of panda bears is 50 more than the number of black bears. There are a total of 874 bears in the park. How many of each kind? So we've got to have a panda bear and a black bear and uh, what is the other kind? Oh, a grizzly bear. So we've got three kinds of them. So here's our one equation. There are a total of 874. That gives us panda plus black plus grizzly equals 874. Now let's look at the other guys. It says the number of grizzlies, let's write that down, the number of grizzlies equals is four more than twice the number of black bears. Okay, so we're going to be able to put that guy right there. Then it says the number of panda bears is 50 more than the number of black bears. So here that guy is going to go in for the panda bears. So we now have black bear plus 50, that's our panda, plus the total of black bears, plus two black bears plus four, that's panda, black, and grizzly, has to equal 874. Oh my word, look at that, happy land, we now have an equation. Let's simplify this guy, b and b and 2b, that's 4b, plus 54 equals 874. Subtract 54 and divide by 4 and we get b equals 205. So this tells us the number of black bears. Good. Now let's look at what happens to the pandas. So let's write that down. The black bears, we have 205 here. So the pandas says the number of black bears plus 50. So 205 plus 50, that means 255 for the pandas, and stick 205 in there, 205 times 2 is 410, plus 4 is 414 for the grizzly bears. And does that really make sense? Will you add these all up and get 874? Indeed you will. All right, number two. An international phone call costs 35 cents to connect, so without any minutes whatsoever we have 0.35 and 12 cents for every minute, so that is plus 0.12 for every minute. How long can the person talk for $3.60? For exactly $3.60, he could, let me, let's do that. Look at that. 35 cents plus 12 cents for every minute, 360. So subtract 0.35 from both sides, and we get 3.25, and then when we divide by 0.12, divide by 0.12, we get 27, it says 27.08 minutes, but we get charged by the minute. So 27 minutes is, how, is the maximum she can talk. All right. A 52 meter rope is cut into, is cut so that one piece, so we have this rope here. Good, it's cut right here. So we have one piece, this guy, is 18 meters longer than the other. So if this guy is like X, then this guy is X plus 18. And how long is the rope all together? 52 meters. That gives us our equation. x plus 18, that's a longer piece, plus a smaller piece has to equal up to 52. Add those together, we get 2x plus 18 equals 52. 2x equals, let me see, if we subtract 18 and subtract 18, we get 34. Divide by 2 and we get x equals 17. So one piece is 17 meters long, and the other is bigger by 18. So if that guy equals 17, then this guy equals 17 plus 18 is 35. So the other piece is 35 meters. And really, does that make sense? That guy's 18 bigger? Yes. And they really do add to 52 meters. That's cool. Okay, number four. The original price is 292.50, and it's a discount, so we're going to be subtracting of 20%. 20% of what? Of the original price. Oh, so here we have 0 0.20 times 29250. Go ahead and punch that in the calculator. You get just under 60 bucks. And then we're subtracting that from the 29250. And we end up with 
Ooh, look at that, right on the dot, $234. There we go. We didn't even need to use algebra for that one. Number five, oh, here's where we're gonna use algebra. Here we've got a discount, which is subtraction, but when we look at this 40%, it's 40% of the original price. So we've gotta have 0.4 times that original price, that is subtracted off of the original price. So here we have P minus 0.4P ends up being our final. So this is a 1 minus 0.4 is 0.6P equals 73.90 and divide by 0.6, divide by 0.6 and we end up with the original price being 123, round to the nearest penny, 123.17. There's the original price. Number six, solve and graph. We've got to graph this guy as well. So here we have, we jump this five in and we get five x minus 10 is greater than seven x plus eight. Uh, we've got to get the x's together. So let's subtract five x and subtract five x. and then subtract 8 to both sides and we get negative 18 greater than 2x divide both sides by 2 we get x is less than negative 9 notice we did not switch the sign right there because we were dividing by a positive 2 so on the graph there's 0 and there's negative 9 notice the x is smaller than negative 9 so we're down here so even though that looks like it's an arrow pointing to the right, the x is over here on the right, which means the x is on the smaller side of negative 9. And then negative 9 is with a circle around it because we don't actually include that as one of the answers. Good.